Dublin-born Golden Boy prospect now fighting out of Freddie Roach's wildcard gym was on the Amir Khan Lamont Peterson undercard. Taking on Cesar Cisneros. This is the first time out of Florida. First time over six rounds. We can join it in round one. Cisneros. Another chance to have a look at Jamie Kavanagh in the black with the white trim. A really colourful, engaging character from Dublin. Grew up in Spain. Now bases himself in Hollywood, California. Trains in the wildcard gym. Last time we saw him, he was on the Amir Khan Lamont Peterson undercard, where he was very fortunate to get a draw against a completely unheralded Ramesse Gilles, who'd come in losing three in a row. We were disappointed with the man that calls himself the nuisance. He was more the disappointment that night. Was it just a bad night in the office, or was his technical shortcomings exposed by Ramesse Gilles? We'll find out a little bit more tonight against the uh, man from Central Florida, Cesar Cisneros. Yeah, I thought last time out it was his attitude that was all wrong. I think he boxed as though he felt all he had to do was show up, let some punches go without keeping his mind on the job. So facial damage already. Well, that is not good. That is yep, bad yep. news. Right, I believe. Well, the worst possible start against an opponent who comes in with a very average record, three wins to his name, but two of them are against the same opponent. And that opponent has a one and five record, so Cisneros comes in with no kind of track record at all. And really, Kavanagh, if he struggles here, if he struggles to impress here, you do wonder where he's going to go. I think one of his, uh, his big problems is that he's too easy to hit. You know, he likes to be aggressive, you know, he has a character outside of the ring, you know, very engaging character, but he wants to be an attraction. But look, he's walking straight onto that jab. Oh. Well, I would count that a slip, but the referee liked it. I thought it was more of a slip, you know, it looked like a glancing blow high in the head, but. Uh, but unkind to Cisneros, I thought, although he hasn't complained. Yeah, that's just what uh, Jamie Kavanaugh needed. Sam Garza, the referee, seeing it as a knockdown. Well, he's, he's got wobbly legs there. He really is looking a little bit uh, a little bit ragged around the edges already here, Cisneros. Now, can Kavanaugh just pick his shots here, bide his time, put this fella away. Good left hook to the body, he really felt that one. This is much better from Kavanaugh, who continues the body assault. And the end of the jab there as well. Cisneros needs to hear this first bell. Yeah, this is better. There's a kind of business-like look about what he's doing here. Right, he's facial damage already, but he's prepared to take a punch to land the better ones. I think he fancies a, he can score a, a quick stop. He's here, a good body shot again. Not for the first time either. He's really been whipping in those hooks to the body. Mainly the left, but he's banging a couple of right hooks as well. And switching upstairs with a left hook to the side of the head. This is Neros, he's getting battered all over the place here. A much, much better round from Jamie Kavanagh, despite that facial damage. This is what we were hoping to see when we saw him last December. Much more like it. Signs here, Jim, that this might not go too far. Yep, well, every time he landed there cleanly, you can see he could force the Cisneros onto the defensive. He kept his cool when the injury occurred. See, I, I just thought that was more of a stumble than anything else. A surprising thing, Cisneros didn't complain, but it didn't look like a knockdown to me. He looked off balance as he was swinging a, a right hook himself as much as anything, and a stumble and a bit of a push. And anyway, he touched out. The referee said that's a knockdown. He was definitely unsteady, especially with a couple of those hooks that went in. Let's see if Kavanaugh can, can continue this good work in this second round of six. Still very young, Jamie Kavanaugh. And he's trying to slip the jab, which is better. I just feel that uh, he's too easy to hit. That's better now. There's a little bit of head movement as he moves forward, dipping to his own left. 
getting the body shots off. Bit more thought now, that's good. Yeah, digging in downstairs. Shield is there to be hit. Sorry, this is Neros. Remembering uh, his last opponent, Ramesses Shield, who was also there to be hit. But uh, Kavanaugh struggled to hit him. This is Neros is bo blocking the body shots a bit more in this round. So obviously hurt a couple of times in the opener. Super feather, sees Neros. He's the guy that's kind of moving up against a guy who can make light welter naturally. So Kavanaugh's got that physique, that power. You think that he could do some damage, and he continues to work downstairs. Sees Neros, by the way, never been past four rounds either. He's having his first fight out of his native state. Still a little bit reckless, Kavanaugh. And he's physically stronger. He's the bigger puncher. He's still walking on to, to the jab, and that's better than that. Oh, a good shot again to the body. Yep, I like when he dips the knees and gets a little bit of head movement as he comes forward. That's better. Certainly letting these punches go, especially those body shots, those hooks downstairs with some authority here, Kavanagh. Uh, giving it a go there, Cisneros, but Kavanagh catching those on his gloves. So paying some attention. The defensive work here, Kavanaugh, which was sadly lacking when we saw him in December. <laughs> Somebody made the point, might have been you at ringside, Jim. You, you didn't get the feeling that he was getting an awful lot of one-on-one -on -one tuition with Freddie Roach. No, I think that's the, you, know, you, you hear about, you know, it gives you a bit of a reputation if you're coming from the wild card, but uh, Eddie's a busy man. And there's a lot to, about what Kavanaugh does that I think Freddie would iron out already. Better work though, keeping up a good tempo here for the last few seconds of this second round. Kevin are pretty much in complete control, but Cesar Cisneros has got through the round without too much distress. £176 for a £1 stake. Irish Lotto Bet at your local betting shop. Some damage around that left eye. This is Neros. Very much on the receiving end through these first two rounds. Sarasota showing a bit of toughness here. Kavanaugh keeping up that fast tempo. The cut doesn't seem to be getting any worse. You made the point there, Jim. Slipping a few punches, thinking about what he was doing a little bit more. Yeah, well, that was what was missing last time out. Just far too reckless. He, he still likes to be aggressive, obviously. But uh, dipping the knees as he comes forward, moving the, the head from side to side, things you're going to have to do when you are aggressive. Round three, Jamie Kavanagh of uh, Dublin via Spain, who's now based in Hollywood, California. He's in the black with the white trim up against Cesar Cisneros of Florida. Scheduled for six. Kavanaugh's had his man on the floor, albeit fortuitously in the first round. Took care of the second round as well, so he's building up a useful lead here. A 21 year old who calls himself the nuisance. The chance to ask him why he got that nickname. He said, because my family and friends think I'm a nuisance. Simple as that. And he didn't seem to mind one little bit. I just never feel it's a, a nickname that's going to sell tickets to nuisance <laughs> if it's reflected in your style. People who don't know you, and they're maybe not looking forward to getting to know you. Ooh, he's making a nuisance of himself here with his narrows. That was a straight left there that wobbled the man from Florida. Now, can he follow this one up? Cisneros covering up, but the right uppercut got through. I think he's blocking the body shots well yes. now since Neros. He was hurt in the opener, but he hasn't yes. been troubled since. And he's able to come more, through. More damage. Yep. 
Well, he picked up something there. He, he was marked above that left eye. Now there's a lot of bleeding below the, the left eye as well. He's really looking a mess down there. I'm not sure if that was a punch or a head clash. Not a straight off getting through from Kavanagh. Then he switches to the hook to the body. And Cisneros couldn't block that one. And really starting to unload here as the defences of Cisneros start to unravel. He's on the back foot for the first time as well. Yeah, kind of desperation and some of the punches coming back from Cisneros, but he's still in there. Not really troubled by the tower of Kavanaugh recently. With the two, he's becoming the nuisance, I think. They're both showing the marks of battle here in this third round. Kavanaugh was cut in the first few seconds. The damage to Cisneros looks an awful lot worse. I'm, I'm going to open it up a little bit here. You just get the feeling Kavanaugh has, has missed the opportunity again. He's had him wobbling a couple of times, but not been able to follow it up. And Cisneros at least can take care of his defensive skills. He covers up well. He dips in those, those elbows to try and block the body shots. Trying to get something back in return there. Got a right hand through. He's not looking greatly troubled, but with the power in Kavanaugh's punches, he, he is able to take them and come firing back. This is actually warmed up nicely. The bloke having got a go here. This is okay. A solid shot right on the bell from Jamie Kavanagh. And the cup man is going to have to go to work here. In the future, HSBC believe that more and more people will be investing globally. Red and green and yellow made a map for me to follow. Which is why we're making it affordable with our HSBC World Index portfolios. Yeah, that's not pretty. Listen to me. Listen to me. Move to your right. He's looking to land the right hand, so stay away from his right hand. He's a miracle worker in there. Right. Swelling badly. Couple right over that left eye. It does right. look a mess. Yeah, we're still the better. What that was, the heads coming together. Yeah, pretty certain that's what. What caused the cut over Cisneros? I was surprised that no medication was put on the cut between rounds. They just uh, wiped the blood and put some Vaseline on it so they don't have a cut, man. Round four of this six rounder, Jason Kavanagh. The nuisance from Dublin, via Spain, now in California. The black with the white trim. Pretty much comfortably ahead. Certainly on Jim's card, and probably on an awful lot of people's cards against Cesar Cisneros, who's brave and tough and giving it a go, but he's been outworked and outgunned. Oh, those left hooks to the body. And every so often, Kavanaugh gets through and just rattles him a little bit, but he recovers well. He's got some resilience, Cisneros. Yeah, he just seems to have warm to the task. That's the heads coming together again. Just, uh, there's just nothing special about Kavanaugh. I think that's the problem. You know, he's, he's letting the punches go. It's a good little fight to watch. But uh, as far as being a red hot prospect, uh, I wasn't sure last time I saw him. And I'm still not sure. Well, he looked anything but last time. This is a little bit more technique about him this time but as you say Jim you'd really get the feeling that if he was a red hot prospect he'd have been getting this fellow out of here that was a decent combination but again the naturally smaller man is soaking up these punches and coming back and throwing a few of his own yeah he's coming through the punches and, and landing his own shot so not for the amount of work that Kavanaugh has done you would like to think that he should be dominating by now but he's not really Oops. 
Can he stop up quite real? Yeah, picked his shots there. A little bit of thought behind that. Started off with the body attack, then switched it upstairs. And at least he does let the punches go. He does, he's not just a single punch merchant, Kavanagh. He does think about combinations, what will land. And even if the first two or three get blocked, eventually he seems to get through. Good work again. Another four-punch combination from Kavanagh. Tender will start the same way. He throws the two punches to the midsection, throws an uppercut in there, and then brings in a hook upstairs. Through, snap the head back and drew some oohs and ahs from the fans that were inside. Yeah, he does keep the punches flowing, that's for sure. I mean, he wants to please the crowd. Volume, the punch is getting through now. And once again, Cisneros struggling to just stay out of trouble here. It was a really good right hand got through earlier. Cisneros absorbed that, but he's still taking punches. Another uppercut getting through there. And he just plants his feet and comes back for more, doesn't he, Cisneros? But again, Kavanaugh picking him off. You would think in a British ring, the referee might be thinking, you know, I've seen enough of this. Well, I like the fact that he sets up attacks and sustains them. I mean, that was good. I mean, that was a long onslaught. We really took a lot out of Cisneros. And you wonder how much he's got left after that onslaught, and it really was. It was just a sustained barrage. Picked his shots, didn't waste much effort. Still can't put his man away, though. But it was a better round in terms of quality, Jim. The output was terrific, and he picked his shots. It wasn't just wildly throwing punches and hoping for the best. Yeah, some nice little uppercuts there mixed in uh, the finishing on the hooks. No, you, you can admire the pace that he sets, and, uh, but when he sets up an attack, he sticks with it. It's just the fact that he, he takes punches on the way in. And really, the amount of leather that he's throwing, that, that was a nice uppercut. Yeah, that was a terrific burst. Really, the last half minute of that round, it, really, that's the best work we've seen from him. One-way traffic so far in this six-rounder. Jamie Kavanagh dishing it out. Cesar Cisneros in these solid black trunks on the receiving end. But still sticking around. A mile behind on points, you would think. But equally, you would think, if you're in Jamie Kavanagh's camp, you'd say, let's get rid of this fella now. Let's just go to work, step it up a little bit. Because he's hit him with a lot of shots. Good body shots. Uppercuts coming in. A few hooks in there as well. Oh, he got caught on the counter there. He was a little bit wild. And he got caught with a really good right hook from Cisneros. When he started using the jab at the beginning of this round, which uh, was a good plan, but the, the trouble is, keeps the head right. still too often in punching range, and he took that this shot. Thankfully, this is near as not a big puncher. Yeah, just the one stoppage on his on his card. So Cameron are able to take some risks, but against uh, an opponent who can bang a bit, he might have been in a lot of trouble there. He's very wild and ragged, left himself wide open, and did get caught with a big right hand. And that's been a very rare moment of success because he's near Ross who gets his head snapped back again with one of those uppercuts and he's been eating them all night and that cut's getting worse again. Hey! <laughs> Garza has stepped in again. And yeah, we're gonna have another look at this cut. This is just getting worse and worse. And he's so far behind on points, you think there's no way he can possibly win this. So the doctor will step in, Greg Diaz. Have a good look at this. And really let it carry on. There's the cut of Kavanaugh that was sustained very early, but they've managed to control that. This is there, his cut is a mess, and they're going to let him carry on. Again, blocking shots well. But he just can't block enough of them because Kavanaugh does let the punches go. Yeah, Kavanaugh certainly looking for the stoppage. These are good shots now. A nice jolting right hand. This is Neros. Doesn't have the skill set to keep him off. 
Almost a sense of desperation about the man from Florida now. As he catches another one of those straight lefts. And I think that's enough. Yeah, good stoppage that one. Sam Garza, the fans inevitably don't like it. But Kavanaugh was just using him as a punch bag there the longer that went on. And there was less and less coming back. He was looking really tired, beaten up, and no real complaints from Cesar Cisnero as well. We said we wanted to see the stoppage from Jamie Kavanaugh. We got it, Jim. Well, yeah, Matt, I'll be honest, I think the referee was hoping the doctor would call it off but because of the injury. I think he called the doctor up with a plan, say, let get him out of there. We've got an excuse to get him out, let's use it. The doctor didn't use it as an excuse, so the referee took it in his own hands. It was a good stoppage. It was one-way traffic. Uh, but uh, I don't know that my opinion of young Kavanaugh has grown. I have to be fair, he's only 21, long way to go. Uh, but still a lot of work to be done but good to watch non-stop action non-stop punching so good little performance but a long way to go and certainly a big improvement on what we saw on the Emir Khan Lamont Peterson undercard in December when he was frankly very lucky to get a draw against a, a guy who came in with three straight defeats he set about his business here threw punches stayed on his man I mean this is an impressive work rate he just didn't stop uh, throwing punches from the first bell OK, took a few in the early stages, but that was becoming less and less as he started to dominate the action. Yep, puts them together nicely, and there's a referee looking for an excuse to get Cisneros out of there. Kavanaugh I gave him that excuse, so all in all, a decent night's work. And he stays unbeaten as well, a 21-year-old, Jamie Kavanaugh. Good learning experience for him. Let's go back to 